Alright, so I have two more left, so let's go ahead and copy this, duplicate it, move it over. Um, Miss Brown accepted her teaching job at Elba in 2017. And then in 2019, I'm going to duplicate, oh, control Z, undo that. I'm just going to duplicate this one, drop it down. Miss Brown accepted her job at St. Paul Public Schools. I've got a couple more that I need to add in, so I'm going to look for some more books since my new job is a librarian. Let's look on here. Maybe let's search library and see what pops up. All premium. So let's do notebook. Okay, so at the library we have newspapers here for our patrons. So I'm going to go ahead and add in a news. There's that. And then Elba were the blue jays. So maybe there's like a mascot. Let's do desk. That's another teacher thing. Sure. That'll work. Alright. The one thing that I initially... Oops, let me undo that really quick. It disappeared. To undo, I just hit Control z kind of like in Google. In our documents and whatnot, Control z will undo it. Um, since this is kind of from my mind, I'm going to delete my source in this bottom part because we don't really need that um, for the sake of this. So I've got 10 different events, 10 different pictures, and timeline. I changed my theme. I added media. The one thing that I asked you guys to do was to kind of highlight where you were born, and this is something I failed to do at my beginning. So I asked you guys to go under data, click on maps. We're going to search for the country. We're going to search for United States. I'm going to click on that. From there, it's gonna, I'm going to edit my map. I was born in Colorado, so I'm going to click the color. And I'm going to change the color. Then I'm going to insert. That's just showing me you guys know how to work with the maps on here. From there, I'm going to make it a lot smaller. And I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to paste it. Oops, let's try that again. I'm just actually just going to delete. Oops, well, let's go undo, undo. And so somehow that top part disappeared when I tried to move my map, and that's okay. Some things happen. So make sure that you're clicked down here when you go to insert your map, and that's what I just did incorrectly. So insert, United States, edit, nope, oh, cancel, insert maps. Scroll down to United States, edit this map, Colorado, change my color, insert, give it a second, I'm going to make it smaller because that's really big compared to all my other ones, bring it up and place it up there. So that was kind of it that I needed you guys to do, so if we go back and we look at our checklist, I had no spelling errors. I had 10 events in chronological order. I had a minimum of six graphics or pictures. I included my map and that's how I explained how it happened. I added a sentence explanation for each event. I changed my theme colors, added audio. The last thing we need to do is download it and upload it to Google Classroom. So let's go back to our project. The way that we download, it's up at the top. Click download as an image. This one is the only one that is not premium. So from there, it'll save it just like a screenshot, and from there, you guys already know how to upload screenshots to Google Classroom. So double check that you guys have it submitted. Once it gets submitted, um, I'll be able to open it up, and it'll look very nice and put together. So that timeline looks exactly what I'm looking for. So I didn't ask for too much. It didn't take me super long, um, and you guys have had plenty of time to do this. So I expect high-quality work from you. So. If you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, thank you.